everyone. Welcome to today's Day Trading Recap, Tuesday, February 9th. Uh, another green day, keeping the green streak alive, plus 1,200 even today. Uh, took a little bit of a roundabout way to get there. It was a little wild, wild ride in the markets this morning, but uh, ended up positive. Uh, on the Mighty 90 front, we just did two trades. Both of those were losers, BABA minus 160, Microsoft 370. And then we took a pairs trade. Uh, I, I put it in pre-market and then I actually added to it after the market opened. Uh, it just kept going against me, so I ended up just bailing. Uh, took a pretty decent loss as far as what I do, usually do on pairs trades, minus 579. So the morning did not start out the greatest. But it ended up very well as the runners came roaring back. Uh, did four runners, all four winners, plus uh, 2309. So net net uh, for all trades, plus 1200 on the day. Airbnb plus 270. Uh, Boeing was my biggest winner, plus 1123. Net, uh, Netflix, which was just testing everybody's in the community's patience today, uh, ended up booking a nice 640 and then Walmart 276. So let's check these out. Start with the losers, start with the mighty 90s. Uh, Baba. So let me get to Baba here. So with Baba, I had this nice, nice volume spike here. We were looking for a point of exhaustion. Uh, I actually waited a little bit, got short here, started to come down. I was trying to get out of part of it, and it just didn't quite get there, and it ripped higher. And so when it finally rolled over a little bit, we just bailed on the rest of it about right down here. So I ended up taking a small loss of minus 160 on Baba. And then Microsoft, kind of a similar situation. We were in these uh, somewhat similar time frame here. Got this volume spike. Started to roll over, but uh, it was pretty strong at that point and just ripped higher on us. So we waited, 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 waited. And finally, when it came down here, we just got out and took a loss on, uh, on Microsoft. On to the runners. Airbnb. Airbnb is not one we trade a lot, but this was actually called out by somebody in the community, which is awesome. That is what I love about the community. I can't see everything at all times, so love having people call out certain things that they see once they learn the strategy. So had this big push up, big second volume bar on this pullback. We got long right here and this thing was just a quick winner, just ripped up. I did. I, I took off about right here, left some on the table because we did have another extension higher, but still booked uh, 270 on that one. Boeing, my biggest winner. Oh, let's see, where's Boeing? So Boeing, uh, another one that kind of tested our patience, but worked out really well. So I had this had this initial push up, a big spike in volume, and then it just started to chop around in positive territory. Chop, chop, chop. Looked like it was going to flush us out a couple times, two, three, four, five times, and then finally gave us the pay dirt and just ripped higher. I got out about right here uh, on these big volume spikes. I was looking for it to potentially pull back a little bit, and I was going to get back in. Uh, but So I got out of all of it right there. Uh, did give us a little bit more. I know some people stayed in uh, for a little bit more profit, but still booked uh, $1,123 on the trade. So nice trade in Boeing. And then Netflix. Netflix was a beast today for us, uh, both in a good and a bad way. So <clears throat> Netflix had this initial strength and massive volume coming in. So we were looking for a pullback for a potential continuation with more strength. Well, we got into our first first little bit right here. I scaled into a little bit more right here, and then this thing just kept bleeding, 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 bleeding. And and really the goal was here, I mean, it was never giving us a reason to get out. And so, and, and the volume was low, it was just kind of bleeding sideways to lower. And finally, when it got down to this orange line yesterday's open, kind of a key level, <clears throat> we jumped in with a little bit more. And I think it was on, yeah, so then sat through even more chop, more chop. And then finally, when we got this bounce, I, I closed out that ad, booked a nice profit on that piece, was hoping for a continuation continuation higher to get out of the rest, but it started rolling over. So we sat through all this chop. I didn't add back in again. I was, I was pretty much done for the day. In fact, if it would have broken below this level here, I was just going to bail and take a loss on the trade. But it held, and then finally, boom, right at the end of the day, uh, we got out of everything by 1130. I usually like to be done by by 10 or 10.30 Central. So we played a little overtime this morning, but it paid off, ended up booking 6.40 on that next uh, Netflix trade. And then Walmart booked 2.76. Let's take a look at Walmart, another runner. 
So Walmart, big, uh, big volume bar here. So we're waiting for a pullback. We got long after just this little pullback here, right, right about there. And this thing pushed up for us nicely. Uh, got out of most of it at this point. Uh, when it started to pull back, back down towards the blue line. In fact, I, I didn't even let it get all the way down there. I thought it was going to keep going up. And so I ended up adding back in right here. Uh, did get a bounce, but then it just kind of rolled over. And so when it got down to here, uh, I, um, I didn't add it. I was just holding my original position. And finally, we got this, got this relief rally. And uh, I ended up, I was trying to get out of half of my position right here, but I put the order in incorrectly into my platform. So I ended up closing the whole thing out right there. Uh, actually, it was right here. I ended up closing it uh, all out. I meant to close half, but ended up closing it all out right there. But still booked 276. Left some chips on the table just from a personal error, but that's okay. Uh, plus 1,200 for the day, so keeping the green streak alive. We'll be back streaming live tomorrow. We'll catch you there. Cheers.